Hi everybody, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty where we women over 50 use skincare, makeup, and health and fitness to look and feel our best. Today I'm excited to bring you another video on overcoming IBS and some of the great new solutions I found to deal with this difficult problem. If you have IBS, you know what I mean. It's kind of an ongoing struggle, but I have found some great new information to share with you. And if you're not yet a subscriber to the 50 Plus Beauty family and you're interested in all things anti-aging, things that help us look and feel our best in our second half, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and or give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And before I get into the meat of this video, my IBS solutions, which are truly great, I did want to show you my outfit today and some of my great jewelry. It looks very expensive, but it is not expensive at all. And I will link all the information in the comment section below the video if you'd like to take a look. I especially love these gold hoop earrings that look like diamonds, but they are CZs and they're very reasonable. Okay, let's get into this. For those of you who did not see my first video, maybe about three months ago on IBS, I'll link it below. And the title of that video was How I Overcame 95% of My Symptoms Using Food. And that was really true. The title was true. If you do certain things with regard to food, at least in terms of my experience, I was truly able to overcome about 95% of my symptoms about 95% of the time. And I'll link below the food list that I found, which is phenomenal. It's Heather Von Boris's website and food list. And here's a brief look at that. Her trigger foods she says you should never have if you have IBS are high fat foods, things like fried foods, red meat, that sort of thing. She said the go foods are soluble fiber foods and that we should concentrate most on those. Those are rice, oatmeal, that kind of thing. And the pause foods, the kind of warning foods, are the insoluble fiber foods, which are things like whole wheat, whole bran, granola, nuts, seeds, very difficult for me, nuts and seeds. Also things like lettuce of all types and salad greens. And that was a particularly difficult one for me because if you've seen my what I eat in a day video to stay slim after 60, which I'll link that below too, then you know that every day of my life I eat a salad and I have for years. And so it was very almost impossible for me to continue using everything letter of the law on the Heather Van Voris food list. And again, I'll link all that information for you below. One of the toughest things on that list is stopping coffee. I absolutely love coffee and I was never able to do that. Oh, that looks terrible. <laughs> but anyway, coffee is one of my favorite things in life and I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do anything bad, no drugs, but I really want to keep my coffee. And what I realized is that if you want to still be able to cheat some on your IBS food list, the foods that you know you can handle, if you want to veer off a little bit and have a snack or say have a cheeseburger, something like that, that's something I really missed at first when I was following that list, letter of the law, because it says no red meat. I've realized there are some ways you can manage your IBS that helps you have some of those foods that you know and love, but maybe that you also know are not so good for you in terms of your IBS. And one thing that is so important is to take a good probiotic. And for years, I took things like this from Walmart, Nature's Bounty brand Probiotics 100 Million Organisms. And no matter what brand I took, I never really noticed any difference. I never found that through taking probiotics off the shelf at a Walmart or a Walgreens or something like that, I never found that any of them made any difference in what I could eat. I still had the same IBS symptoms and problems when I tried those foods that I know I probably shouldn't have, maybe some nuts or some coffee or something like that. Well, the Ombre people reached out to me and I'm so glad they did. And I'm on my second bottle of their probiotics. And this is a formula that has targeted probiotic recommendations. They basically analyzed all the bacteria that I had in my bowels and then they gave me their targeted probiotic recommendations. And they are sponsoring this portion of the video, but I told my contact Jake there that I couldn't allow sponsorship of anything in my videos until I'd used it and tried it and loved it. And so this is my second bottle. I've been using these for almost two months and I have to say I absolutely love them. 
and I never really knew this existed, and it has made a world of difference in my life in terms of allowing me to enjoy some of those more difficult foods for me. It really helps the IBS journey really go much smoother for me. So let me explain how this works, and I will say that the Ombre people have given me a $30 discount on a gut testing kit, and that is what I have that enabled them to send me my probiotic formula. And here is a look at that website. It says, get your gut test now. And there's a look at the kit there. That is the test I got to test my own gut microbiome and to determine the probiotic formula that would best work for me and my bowel situation. But you get the at-home gut health test, you get a personalized gut health report, you get food suggestions, you get targeted probiotic recommendations, and it is a two to four week turnaround time on getting your test returned, which is very quick. So basically, here is how the Ombre Gut Test Probiotic Program works. And that is that you go to the website and you order the gut test. And again, through the link below the video, you do get $30 off. I think this was regularly $100 for the gut test kit now reduced to $69.99 if you order it through my link below the video. So basically you go to the website and you order the kit and it comes to you in the mail, the testing kit. And here's what you do. Once you get the kit, you first activate your kit. You go to their website, ombrelab.com start and go ahead and enter your contact information there. And secondly, you're going to collect your sample and it says with the swab and tube provided. And that's really a very easy thing to do. They send you a little Q-tip type thing, it's a little longer, and then you get a little bit of your fecal matter, just a tiny, tiny bit, and you put it in a little vial that they give you. You shake it up and you put it in a little secure plastic sack and then you send it back in their postage paid reply envelope. It's very easy to do. You just mail your sample back to them and within a couple of weeks, two to three weeks, you get your test results in the mail. And here is a look at my test results. And they gave me a gut test score of 77 and they say it's close to an ideal state, keep it up. And then they said on number two, you might have high diarrhea levels. And that is exactly what I do have. That's so funny that it pinned that exactly because that is exactly the major problem that I have. Now, if you have IBS, you probably either got my problem or the other side, constipation. And this kit deals with both of those issues. And then there on the middle right, they give you your personalized food plan. And basically that is a list of foods that you should eat and foods you should avoid. And the foods on that list are very interesting because under each food that it recommends, it tells you the gut microbiome that those foods foster in your gut, which are supposedly good to help you get closer to 100% on that gut health score. And then again, they have foods to avoid and reasons why you should be avoiding those foods. And if you want to stop there, you certainly can, but you can also use your results to order your probiotic formula. And there it is where it says, take action, my probiotic recommendation. It says, Beth, based on your test results, you have five beneficial gut bacteria that fall below healthy averages. Then you click the button, get my probiotics, and it takes you to this page. And this is the order screen. And because of this sponsorship, you can get 25% off if you subscribe and save. A one month supply of your probiotic is $39.99. But if you subscribe and save, you can get about 10% off, so it's $35.99, or a three month supply, which is their most popular option, which is $89.99. And that is the one that I chose. And I will tell you that the results that I had using my Ombre probiotic formula were really pretty phenomenal almost right off the bat. Within three to five days of taking these pills, and you take two capsules a day, I take them around lunch because that's my first meal of the day, and I always think it's kind of better to take them with food. But anyway, within three to five days of starting this, my IBS symptoms were markedly decreased. When I drank coffee, for instance, coffee was giving me terrible problems in the morning, I have to admit, but it wasn't enough to make me quit coffee because I love coffee so much. And also my salads at lunch could sometimes give me a few issues because I would often include almonds on top, nuts on top, which was one of my no-go foods, but I love them. And also they help me keep my weight on, which is a good thing. But within about three to five days of starting to take this formula, I found that I could eat those kind of semi-offensive foods 
that were on my no-no IBS food list and do okay. And in the first month overall, I felt better than I had in years on my IBS. And now in the second month, it has gotten even better. We all need probiotics to help us deal with our IBS. But if you're like me, I have never found any probiotic off the shelf that really made any difference. And if you have, if you could share that in the comment section below the video, that would be great. And if you've used these ombre probiotics, that would be great to know too, as we'd love to know your experience. And if you just have IBS control tips in general, please share that information in the comment section because I know a lot of IBS sufferers out there are like me and I read all the comments to find out if someone out there has a good solution to something that I'm not aware of. Okay, my next tip to manage IBS is to have a good anti-diarrhea medication on hand pretty much at all time. And the one that I've been using for a long time and my doctor says it's totally safe and you can take as much as you want of it and it's just fine, it's loperamide. And I used to take those blister packs from Walmart. They were the Equate brand and they really worked but getting the little tiny pills out of the blister packs was just terrible. I mean, I dreaded it and often I did not take those meds. Look how tiny those little pills are. And that's the same size as the low pyramide I would get from Walmart. However, I found a fantastic solution and I'll link this product below. This is the SDA Labs anti-diarrheal medication. It's low pyramide, but it is not in a blister pack. And I looked and looked and looked and could hardly find any lopiramide that was in bottles like this, but this makes it super, super convenient because you just take those little pills out of the bottle if you need them and you don't have to go through all that work to try to get those little pills out of the blister pack. I absolutely love this and it's super reasonable in price and this is 200 caplets so it will last a very good long time. Again, it is linked below. And how I use this, and I learned this from the Heather Van Voris website from some of her emails. You can go to her website at the link below and sign up for her newsletter. But she said all of us with this issue, either if we need laxative or if we need an anti-diarrheal as I do, that we should all keep this in mind because every now and then we know we're going to have kind of a programmed cheat. Like there are times when I have a bunch of nuts and I know I shouldn't, but what I do is I go ahead and take a couple of these right before I know I'm going to have the nuts or I'm going to have that big salad or something that I know might be a little bit of a problem. Or in the morning, if the coffee has not been kind to me that morning, I'll go ahead and take two of these. I keep one of these in my purse and one of these in my kitchen at home and they're always handy. I highly recommend this. This really has helped me a great deal. Okay, my next tip is to make friends with peppermint tea. Peppermint tea is your friend if you have GI issues of any type, and I have two of them that I really love. The first is this stash brand of peppermint tea, and I had to take it out of its box because I had a little flood from my coffee maker down into my tea drawer, so these are now in a little baggie. But I carry these with me because what I try to do is, in the morning I will drink my coffee because I love it, but in the afternoons, I'll either drink green tea or peppermint tea. And these teas do not have caffeine, which is one of the problems with IBS is taking caffeine. So it really does help us to drink herbal teas. But the stash peppermint tea is wonderful. And recently I found this other one, which I've just added. I've only tried it for about a week, but I really like it. It's the Traditional Medicinals Organic Peppermint Delight Tea Probiotic. And so this gives you a little added probiotic protection. I, I have ripped off the lid because this does go into my tea drawer. And basically in my tea drawer, I just usually have all these boxes with the lids ripped off because I do love tea in the afternoon and the evening. And the wonderful thing about these peppermint teas is they taste very good and they don't have caffeine. Alan even loves them and many evenings will have a cup of peppermint tea before we go to bed and it is just wonderful. Okay, that was a look at my most recent tips that I have been using successfully to deal with my IBS. And again, if you have ways you deal with your IBS, I would love you to share the information in the comments section below the video because that way your experience can help others. Okay, again, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe to the 50 Plus Beauty family. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be great too. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been reading from these Life Loves You cards from Louise Hay. I'll go ahead and choose a card, hopefully a positive thought to think about for today. Ooh, this looks good. 
Life loves me. Life loves me. Life loves us all. Look at yourself in the mirror, breathe in and say, life loves me. As you breathe out, smile, repeat 10 times. Oh friends, I absolutely love this card and it is just basically a shift in perspective for all of us from life hates me, life is putting roadblocks in my way, life is making things difficult for me to life loves me. And friends, I love Louise Hay. I wish you were still on this planet. She has gone to heaven now. But anyway, I absolutely love this. She really emphasizes mirror work. So in the morning when we first get up, let's look in the mirror and say, Good morning, Beth. Life loves me. Life loves me. Smile. Life loves me. Because when you look in the mirror and say, Life loves me, often enough, you can look at others and say, Life loves you too. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.